Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to study about the for loop. If we want to execute some code repeatedly until some condition will become false. For this kind of situation, JavaScript provides for loop. For loop. For loop is the most compact form of the looping and it includes the following three important parts. First is initialization where we initialize our counter to a starting value. The initialization statement is executed before the loop begins. Then the test statement which will test if the given condition is true or not. If condition is true then code given inside the loop will be executed otherwise loop will come out next iteration the iteration statement where you can increase or decrease your counter you can put all the three parts in a single line separated by a semicolon here this is the syntax for for loop here first initialization where we can initialize any local variable here this is the test condition. It checks whether the condition is true or false. If condition is true, then statement will be executed. Iteration. It is used to increase or decrease our counter or our this local variable. So this is very simple syntax for for loop. And we have to write this all three in same line by separating semicolon. So to clear your idea about for loop let's go through the simple example. So this is simple example of for loop. Here variable i is the initialization variable. 1 is assigned to variable i then this is the test condition i less than is equal to 5. It means this code will be executed until i become 6 because we have i less than is equal to 5 so when i will become 5 at that time this statement will be executed but then incremental process i plus plus which makes i is equal to 6 then second time this loop will not be executed let's take a look at the output so this is the output of our for loop here for loop first start then loop runs once time then second time then code is executed first time this is second time and each time i value is incremented and at last when i become 6 at that time for loop exit Let's take a look at the some different example to clear your idea about this for loop. This is the nested for loop which is used to create any table, two dimensional array or anything like matrix. Here I have written table tag to create simple table and I also give color attribute background color to that table here one more important note we have used double quote at the outside so we can't use double quote inside we should use only single quote inside double quote here our first for loop begins variable i which contains value 1 then this loop will run until this condition i less than is equal to 5 will become false and then each time variable i is incremented each time when this loop executed document dot write function will write to tag of table then this is the second loop which is used to write column tag it means td tag for table here we have taken variable k which contains value 1 so each time 
its value is incremented and we have written here its value in our cell of table at the end after this for loop complete then we should write close of table tag and then for loop end let's check the output so this is the output of our program your k value is incremented each time i hope now you have clear idea about this for loop